Hello and thank you very much for clicking on this video. I have a problem with Samsung internet browser app and I hope somebody is watching this video and will be able to help me out. Let me show it to you what I'm getting or what's happening with Samsung internet browser apps. Some of the pages that are constantly visiting uh, using Samsung internet browser app, the scrolling effect is broken on my Samsung desk setup regardless if I'm gonna use Galaxy Tab S6 or Note 9. Samsung internet app on these both devices acts exactly the same. I, I can replicate the same issue on both devices inside Samsung internet app. Besides that this couple of websites is broken, another thing I tested is any peripheral that gives me a feature to scroll in the websites, will it be this MX Master Bluetooth mouse or this Logitech wired mouse or if I'm going to take the Galaxy device and connect to a NextDoc 2, the trackpad, Nextdoc 2 trackpad, will give me the same problem. If I'm going to connect Note 9 or Tab S6 to Nextdoc 2, the trackpad will have the same problem inside the Samsung internet app. All the peripherals that gives me a feature to scroll through a website inside Samsung internet app acts exactly the same, except official Samsung keyboard cover case. This trackpad works perfectly. I have no problems of scrolling up and down inside the websites. I will show you which websites in a second, but uh, this will work fine. Every other peripheral, would it be uh, this mouse or wired mouse or an Xdoc 2 or HP Elite X3, they're all broken. Let me show you what I'm, what I'm getting, what I'm talking about. So I do have here Samsung DeX subreddit group opened on two pages. One of the websites where I'm getting this problem is Reddit new layout page and regardless what kind of subreddit I will go in it's going to be the same problem. So let's say instead of going Samsung Dex subreddit let me open Samsung Samsung subreddit instead. So here you go we're just going to go into a Samsung. Let me find the post that has the most comments. So I'm just going to quickly do top this year post and here we go. The first one has 418 comments. So the problem number one um, on the, or the Samsung, uh, the Reddit new layout page is one of the problem, the, the website number one that having this problem. On the right, I'm just gonna click on the title and it's gonna open this post in some sort of like, um, uh, uh, like a, a pop-up where on the left, I'm gonna do control click to open this post on its own in a separate tab. So that's so far the difference between them. On the left, I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna scroll. So as you can see, the scrolling effect, just a couple of mouse clicks and it just, website just slowly goes up and up and up, no problem at all. On the right, if I'm just gonna scroll, you just, I hope you saw how much is actually jumped. I'm gonna scroll again, scroll again, scroll again. It's, it jumps so far. So one mouse wheel, ends up here, where for me, normally I should do, I would say 20, 20 scrolls, which what I expect, not jump through like this. It's, it's way too fast when I'm using the Reddit new layout and I'm opening posts in like a pop-up window. So that's a website number one that has the same problem with the Samsung internet app. Website number two that I'm having this problem with the scrolling effect inside Samsung internet browser app is YouTube Studios, any website, any page inside YouTube Studio. So I am here inside the, my YouTube Studio channel um, comment section. That's where I can see all your lovely posts, all your lovely comments. On the left is a Chrome browser. On the right is a Samsung browser. On the left Chrome browser, let's test it out. I'm just gonna quickly scroll. So as you can see, just slowly goes up. I can see all the comments. I'm reading for them. I'm replying and great. I can read all the comments, no problem. Samsung and internet app, one scroll wheel. I just jumped at least six, seven posts. Six, seven comments just disappeared because it just jumped so fast. So I end up here on this thumbnail. So let's quickly see how, how far I need to do on here. So one, two, three, four, um, let's go. Okay, that's what it is. So it's about 20 mouse wheel clicks on a Samsung internet app just disappeared and it is annoying me like hell. So Reddit new layout page, and YouTube Studio, so far, is two out of three websites that has the same problem. The third website is monday.com. I do have an account via my work on monday.com and I don't really wanna open this up because I'm gonna have to anyway 
grayed out everything because it's, it's basically um, our internal formation showing here. So I'm not gonna start showing you on the YouTube um, exactly what which thing here. But on the Monday.com, we having the same problem, or I'm having the same problem. What is happening inside the Reddit new layout page, or inside the this YouTube Studio comment section? The mouse wheel it just jumps like hell, and like I said. This mouse or this mouse or NextDoc 2 trackpad will act exactly the same on the Galaxy Tab S6 DeX or on the Note 9 DeX inside Samsung internet app. I tried a lot of things to troubleshoot this or finding a solution. Uninstalling an app and installing from Google Play Store. Uninstalling the app and installing from Galaxy Store. Uninstalling the app, installing a fresh copy and then clear cache and data and then reinstalling. And I tried and I tried and I tried numerous ways to get this sorted. I even sent an email to Samsung Internet support team, Samsung Internet browser support team asking for their input on this. They first reply that I received after 15 days when I, reply, when I submitted the ticket. 15 days later, they told me that they can replicate this problem and they sent me instructions how to get the log cat files of my Galaxy Tab S6 after turning debugging on and off. When I done that, I sent an email to them. They replied back after 20 days saying that they can't open my log file. I need to create a new one. So more than a month, uh, about a month later, Samsung still have not basically, it's Samsung, Samsung support team. Uh, I, I do believe they, they're doing a good best work, but the communication speed with the, with the, so with the customer it's like they sent back and forth two emails within 30 days or so. So anyway, Samsung, that's why basically I'm recording this video because I just gave up on Samsung supporting. So I hope you, you see and you understand what the hell is happening within my Samsung DeX setup and I'm using Samsung internet app. I hope somebody is watching this video and will be able to guide me how to, and you had the problem, you will be able to guide me how to get this sorted. Please, if you have a solution, the last straw is to reset the Galaxy Tab S6. But I don't really want to do that until I am 110% sure that that will fix this problem. But resetting the tablet and recreate, installing all the apps, redoing all the setup and basically creating the app or setting everything up as, as it was before, I don't want to go through all this massive task unless I'm 110% sure that the reset will fix. So hopefully somebody is watching this video. Please help me out. Please let me know what the hell is happening here. And if you have a solution, please post it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.